Maybe your game is stuttering, it's running way lower FPS than what you used to get last season, or it's permanently crashing. I'm gonna show you how to fix all of these issues. Make sure you watch the whole entire video. And the easiest way to support my channel, guys, is to play my low end 1v1 map. The map code is right now on screen. Make sure to use it for warm ups and favor it in Fortnite. So guys, in the first place, what I'm gonna show you is how we can actually optimize our virtual memory. Once your RAM is already at its capacity, it's actually gonna move over some tasks to your virtual memory. Therefore, it's super important that we actually optimize it. And what I did here is, guys, give you this virtual memory tool which I made myself, which you can find on my discord.gg slash stripes in the performance packs channel. Just simply let it run here on your PC. And then you can see, guys, we have two options, change virtual memory or revert to Windows default. What we, of course, going to do is press one since we wanna change it. And now we have the initial size. What you want to do in the first place is open up your task manager and then you can see under memory exactly how much RAM you have on your PC. For me it's 48 gigs. And now what you have to do is basically put in here exactly the amount of RAM which you have on your PC for initial size. But the difference is for RAM guys, one gigabyte is actually 1024 Mbits. So what you have to do is take the amount of RAM you have times 1024. That's why for me it would be 49,152 Mbits. So as an example, if you have 16 gigs of RAM, we actually have to calculate 16 times 1024 and it would be 16,384. And now for the maximum size, we have to double it. So for me, it's gonna be 49,152 and then just simply times two. And then you can see it should be 98,304. So we put in 98,304 and then we're gonna press enter. And you can see now guys, your virtual memory settings have been updated. You might need to reset your computer for the changes to take effect, which we're going to do afterwards. But now we are done here with this first step. And next up in the pack also, guys, I have a full entirely modified game user settings file, which I'm about to give you here, guys. And all you gotta do is put in exactly the search resolution on which you maybe play as of right now. I put in, you know, native, so it's easier for everyone to just simply put in exactly what you play on. For me personally, it's 1720 times 1080, usually here for my X and Y sense, and the rest is completely optimized. Then we're going to save this, actually go here now into a Windows search bar, type in a presenter, temp presenter, open it up real quick. Then we're gonna click under local, press F on our keyboard for Fortnite game, go into saved, config, Windows client, and then all you guys gotta do is replace them in here. Of course, remove the two in front, guys. I just put it here because of the pack. It should be called simply game user settings, and then you're already good to go. What are we next up going to do, guys, is take a look at the NVIDIA app. And this is the latest NVIDIA application, which I just released a couple of weeks ago. It's basically a merge of the NVIDIA control panel and GeForce experience together. And what we're gonna do in the first place is make sure that we have the latest game ready drivers. If you have any more up to date GPUs, something from like a 16 series, you know, like GTA. 1650 up until the latest RTX, you should definitely go for the latest game ready driver. For me here, as you can see guys, I have also another update which I have to do here, so therefore I'm gonna do it after this video. Then once we're done with that, we're gonna go over to graphics, select actually Fortnite in here, scroll all the way down. This here all, I would actually leave completely on the normal one, because if you put it right now at the performance, it's actually gonna swap you over to DirectX 11 or DirectX 12, since the performance mode is not enabled or not compatible in this tool here. All we care about is driver settings. And here guys, for me, I have my image scaling, of course, off, low latency mode enabled, maximum frame rate off, power management mode on prefer maximum performance and vertical sync turned off. And then we already good to go with this step as well. Now what's also really important guys is malware bytes because this tool can basically search your PC for any sort of malware or unwanted data which just simply slow down your PC or are maybe running in the background. And it's always good to do a checkup like this here once in a while. Many pros you see out there on Twitch guys in any esports game, they all have malware bytes always on their PC. And all you guys gotta do is get it from the link in description, then click here under scan quick and it's gonna scan your whole entire PC. You can see checking for updates, memory, startup items, registry, file system. It's also not only scanning for malware, it's also scanning for other system issues which you have. So therefore just simply let it run real quick here in the background guys. It's not gonna take too long really depending on your system speed but for me you can see already 75,000 items scanned. It's crazy but it should be almost done here now. And then you can see guys thread scan summary. We have zero threads detected so my PC is completely good to go. We're gonna click under done and can actually close the tool as well. And of course, guys, the most important part is as well your ping. This is why you see FNCS winners like Marrow, Asian Jeff, and many more pros use Jira Booster. The best part is with my link in the description, you can actually try it out for absolutely free, guys. Jira Booster is gonna look for the best DNS server in your near, always making sure that you have the lowest and most stable ping. Even if you already have really good ping, guys, it's still worth it because it's gonna make it way more consistent.
system. The GF Booster is gonna actively in the background search for the best DNS servers, always making sure that you have the best connection to Fortnite. As mentioned, check it out for absolutely free with the link in the description, guys. The next up, what we're going to do is go under this PC, then you can see a local disk C, go under program files, then we're gonna find here Epic Games, which should be here, then we can see Fortnite, go under Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64, and in here now we have all the data of Fortnite. And what we want to find guys are actually these files here. Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping exit. What you want to do is right click onto it, go under properties guys. And now once we're in here, we can now see compatibility on top here. We're going to open it up and then we can see disable full screen optimization. This one I would recommend you highly to do. This actually makes a huge difference and can actually cause so much stutter for many people. So therefore just simply apply this here real quick, click under OK and you're already good to go. I would also only just recommend you to do this for your main exit guys. Don't do it for the launcher itself, Windows 64 shipping should be fine. The next step guys, we're gonna go into a Windows search bar and type in the temporary until we can find the lead temporary files. Then we're gonna let this load here real quick in the background, go down here until we can see temporary files. For me, it's actually 37 gigabytes, which is a lot guys. And what you wanna do in here now guys is make sure to check as many as you can. And what's super important in here now guys is DirectX shader cache and delivery optimization files. Especially your DirectX shader cache once in a while should be cleaned because it might actually contain corrupted files which are slowing down your game experience. DirectX shader cache files are gonna get built every single time you launch any game on your PC and it's basically meant to reduce loading times the next time you start that game. You know you maybe get like a new PC, you play Fortnite for the first time, it's gonna take a little bit longer to load but the next time you actually restart your PC and hop into Fortnite these files are already there. So they will get restored, don't worry about it but just simply make sure to clean them once in a while and then we're gonna go here on the top and go under remove and you can see now 21 gigs is already removed, everything is completely set to zero and we're already chilling and good to go. And if this video was helpful don't forget to leave a like and subscribe guys and make sure you check out the two videos which are right now on screen